Okay, we're constructing a velocity versus time graph for an accelerating car. The car starts from rest and ends up at 25 meters per second, 10 seconds later. So really, I only had the two points. At time zero, he starts from rest, so I'm at the origin, where the y-axis is velocity and the x-axis is time. 10 seconds later, I'm at 25 meters per second. So I connect the dots, I get a straight line. Now it says, on the graph, show its slope. Now you always want to make the slope as large as possible to minimize any errors. So my rise, I'm going to use as much of the graph as possible. My rise will be this length right here. And my run looks like it's the entire x-axis all the way up to 10. There's my run. So when I calculate them, my run goes from 0 to 10. So my run is 10 seconds. Make sure you include the units. And my rise goes from 0 all the way up to 25 meters per second. So my rise is 25 meters per second. Now we know that slope is rise over run. So let's calculate it and see if we can make heads or tails out of it. So the slope is rise over run. My rise is 25 meters per second, and my run is 10 seconds. The slope is positive because it's going from lower left to upper right. And I end up getting a slope that's 2.5 meters per second per second. Also known as 2.5 meters per second squared. I prefer the first format. It's a little bit more descriptive. It's telling you the rate at which your velocity is changing. And it's saying that my velocity is changing by positive 2.5 meters per second every second. Let's see if it's true in our graph. Starts at zero meters per second. According to my slope, one second later, my velocity should be gaining 2.5 meters per second. So since I started at zero, one second later at this point on the graph, here, I'll change the color. At this point on the graph, I should be going 2.5 meters per second. And you can see from the graph, that is true. Two seconds later, I gain another 2.5 meters per second of velocity. So at the two second mark, I add another 2.5, and I'm at five meters per second. Every second, my velocity increases by the same amount. So that's why we say that's a constant acceleration. So the slope represents a constant positive acceleration as the velocity speeds up.